everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my crafty den. I am just I'm just making a few Christmas decorations today. I thought I'd sit down and play. And I've never used these Jenga blocks before. And I've made myself this little Santa hat. Or not Santa hat, snowman hat. And all I've done is I've glued five of them together in a stack like this. I made two of those stacks and then glued them together. And then I made three little stacks of just two high and then glued those together. And then I glued the, these two pieces together. So I am going to take, so I'll just grab these sponges and haul one out. These are just those cosmetic wedges that I get for $1.50 from Dollarama. And I'm sure they have them at Dollar Tree as well. I just have never picked them up there. They seem to last me forever once I get a bag. And I'm going to shake up my um, Deco Art Crafters Acrylic in the color black. This is just plain black. And I am going to put some on here, just like that. And I'm going to use my sponge to paint this. And I'm going to do both sides all the way around. And I'll be right back. I wiped it off a little bit. I can see where it's going to be, and the rest of it should wipe off with um, a damp cloth. I'm looking for, I think I'm going to try this. These write on almost anything. This is a Uniball Signo, and it's the white gel pen, and these are really, really awesome pens. So what I'm hoping I can do is put this image on here. And give myself something that I can follow with a paintbrush because I'm going to paint this on. And I think it'll turn out fine. So when I get this on here, I'm going to get my paints out and I'm going to paint over this. And, um, and I'll show you what, what it looks like when it's done. So I'm going to try to paint this. Um, I've never done anything like this before. I have this little nail art kit that was a gift in one of the packages that Robin gave me. And I think... This would make a really cool set to paint these uh, this script on here with. So I'm going to try. I've got a little bit of my acrylic white right here. And I'm going to try to paint this on here. I may even need the tinier paintbrush to do it. Let's see if the tiny one will do it. And I'm just using my Crafters Acrylic White. I'm sorry I got my hand in the way. You can't kind of see what I'm doing, but. To paint letters is really hard. And I think what I'll do is if I make any mistakes, I'll just go back over it with some black and touch up any of the spots that I screw up. I'm only showing you this because I'm using a very tiny, tiny little paintbrush. I'm putting very little paint on it, but I didn't think I could do this using chalk paint because chalk paint's thick and it doesn't flow very well. And to paint letters, I think it's going to have to flow a little bit like 
I don't like that spot right there. So I think I'm going to cover it over with the black when I get it. I've got, I've got it written. It's still wet. I'm using the little dot tool. I used the bigger dot tool to dot the eye on it, but I'm using the little one and I'm just dabbing it in the paint and, and I'm just making three dots. So each time there's a little bit less paint on the dot tool and because of that, the snowflakes, some are bigger, some are really tiny. And it looks like some of them are further away and some of them are closer. So I like that whole look. I think this is turning out kind of cute. I'm just going to put them all over it. I just wanted to make a let it snow sign, something very small for my three-tiered tray. And I think this is going to be perfect on there for my... Um, for my tray for decoration. There, I need some smaller dots. All mixed in so that they don't look like they're so placed. And I'm just, I'm not even looking, I'm just dabbing. So, there. So I like that whole look. And then, I'm going to take this fan brush... I don't know if this is going to work, and I hope I'm not going to regret this. I'm just trying to get a little bit, just a little wee bit on the ends, and I'm going to take most of it off because I don't want hardly any there at all. I hope that's good enough. And then I am going to just brush the edges like this just to make this look a little bit worn at the edges not much just a teeny tiny little wee bit i'm so afraid of putting too much on i gotta be careful there because that's still wet and i'm going to bring it in from the sides at the bottom here too And do it a little bit, a little bit more along this edge here. Whoops, I'm just throwing my thing right away here. So this is something new for me. I haven't jumped into this world of distressing and signs and stuff like that. Yeah, and I usually just use my signs the way that I get them. So along the top here, oh, that's way too much. Along the top here, I think I'm just going to brush like this to make it look like there's some snow along the top. And I think that's going to be enough, maybe here. There. I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to come back and put a little something right here and I, what I'm thinking is I have these little plastic they're metallic looking snowflakes but they're plastic and I think I want to use these here like this and then I want to embellish them with a um red in the center so I think that's what I'm going to do because I want this to be plain simple and it's going to stand up on my tray now what I've done is I painted one little block and I'm going to glue it to the bottom at the back like that just flush with the bottom so that when this stands up it won't tip and that'll allow it to stand up a little bit better. So it'll be all done here shortly, and I'll let you see what it looks like. Now I'm going to glue these together this way. Now they're the same 
blocks. And these are tiny blocks too. Um, when I saw people first using these on any of the videos I was watching, I actually thought they were the same size as regular Jenga blocks. Um, I have no idea why. <laughs> It, I guess it's just it. things look bigger when they are um, on a screen than they do in real life. So I'm gluing these together like this. And I think I'm going to put them... Let's see. I'll do... I'm just going to do a little joy sign. A very simple. Again, I'm just trying to make some different little things for my tiered tray. Um, I painted a J and a Y white. Of course, I'm going to put something in the middle for the O. I'm not sure what yet, but I think it's going to be what I originally got the idea from. So I have these puffy stickers and they are so cute, like just so cute. And I have them left over from last year. And I really, really like this little snowman right here. So keeping in the snowman theme, I did the snowman hat and keeping in the snowman theme, I thought I would put that on there like that. So probably maybe one more like that. So I'll do two, four, six, eight, nine of them. So I'll do nine high and I'll be right back. So this is what I've got. I've made a tower out of the blocks and I glued one on either side of the bottom so that it will stand straight up so that I'm going to put the joy going down this way and I think I'm going to paint this I think I'm going to paint it with this um, chalk paint and it's called Parisian gray I haven't used this one before but I'm kind of excited about the color um, yeah, I'm kind of liking the way it looks in the picture. So I haven't even opened this yet. This is a new one for me. Ooh, look at that. It's almost a putty color. That is really pretty. So I am going to put a little bit of this, just a little bit, out here on there. I don't want too much. There. <laughs> and I'm going to get, I'm a messy crafter, aren't I? Um, yeah, you don't want your kids learning from me. I'm just in it for the fun. I'm just getting another one of these sponges. I want a clean one for this paint color. And I am going to just put it on like this. I think that'll give it a nice texture. And a nice finish. And I don't, I'm not going to do two coats on this. I think I'm going to do one and maybe some of this, um, maybe some of this will show through. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to pounce it on like this. I hadn't used these sponges like this. I was a paintbrush girl and I watch Bargain Bethany. If you don't watch her, you should watch her. She does some incredible DIYs. But, I watch her and every time she paints something, she just pounces it on like this with a makeup um, sponge. And I decided to try it last week, I think I tried it for the first time. And I think I'm hooked. I really like the way that this looks. And by pressing down with the paint, kind of get it into the nooks and crannies as well. So I'll get this done and I'll be right back. So I have this holiday red paint and it's just an acrylic paint for crafters. Um, I can't remember if I got it at Dollarama. Look at my hands. <laughs> I don't know if I got it at Dollarama or Dollar Tree or I don't know where I picked it up. But I do remember at the end of the season last year that I needed some bright red for Christmas and this is actually called holiday red. So I'm hoping that this will work and I'm going to give these a coat of this so that they'll be nice and bright and they'll pop off of this. Um, isn't this gray color really pretty? 
Yeah, it's gorgeous. So yeah, when this is done and painted and those are red and I get everything together and I'll be back and show you what I did. That part's done. I'm just going to finish this off with this. It's just a little sprig that I put together on a project last year and I'm not using that this year. I'm just taking apart and reusing the pieces. So I'm going to hot glue this to the top of here like that like a little swag so I'm gonna put I want that to stay so I'm gonna put quite a bit of glue right across there and I'm gonna hold this ribbon up and this up and I'm gonna try to glue this part right there and hold it for a minute until that cool down this is a really hot glue gun and it takes forever to cool down, but it's better than waiting for glue to dry. <laughs> and it always is. So I'm going to take this and just put it over there a little bit like that because there's a little bit of glue there. And the same with this. And then hold this down again. It's just not wanting to stay. Still soft. It's still soft. There. So that will finish that off a little bit at the top. It's cute. This is going right on the very top of my coffee bar. So I want the top of it to be finished. There's a little bit of glue there that oozed out. I'm going to take that off and this off. And I'll take you out and I'm going to do a reveal of my coffee bar now. So this is what the top of my coffee area looks like. And I'm just going to reveal basically my three-tiered tray today. But I've added a couple extra touches. I threw the little snowman cup that I love using all the time onto the Keurig. I changed out the fall arrangement on my street lamp DIY for a um, buffalo check bow. And I put the same buffalo check bow on my, um, it looks like a lantern, but it's actually elect electric light. The This one right here, it's not an oil lamp. And in the center here, this little DIY um, burlap with the deer. I did it last year and I'll link that down below. So I just put that behind the lamp. So let's go to the three tiered tray and this is what it looks like for the Christmas season. And this may be almost all the decorating I'm doing in my house this year is just this little area because we're not going to be home for the two weeks over Christmas. Hopefully, we'll be at the other house in New Brunswick for Christmas. So this is the little joy sign. Um, and I did add at the very end some uh, glitter glue. And I used my, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I forgot what it's even called. I'm having one of those brain things. And my Let It Snow Snowman's hat made out of the Jenga blocks. So those are the two DIYs I did. And all I added on this one is this tiny little, it's a little ceramic snowman. So that whole section at the top of the tray is kind of a snowman theme. And then the next one down, I put in this little dish and I filled it with some just some um, vase filler and I added my naughty and nice radon sugar and creamer and put that little Dollar Tree deer in there and that's enough to nicely fill that section up and on the bottom um, at the very back the little frame that's just a little five by seven frame barely fits in here. You have to squeeze it between the two rows because this is only seven inches or so apart. And it just has one of the Dollar Tree ornaments, so snowflake ornaments, on top of a piece of burlap. And that's one of the ones I did last year. I'll link both those um, down below. I also did the snow globes last year. So I've got one here and I've got one down here. And then I've got another snowman in a sleigh there. Now these are old um, 
Dollar Tree finds. These are from ages and ages ago, like years. I think when I first went to a Dollar Tree, and it might have been in the States that I picked them up. Um, and these ornaments right here, let's see if I can get back a little bit so you can see it. It's a metal base snowman. And I just picked it up at a dollar store. I think it was your dollar store with more, but I can't be sure. And that is quite a few years old as well. So I'll link the snow globes down below as well as the frames. And you can see how I created a few DIYs last year as well. So this is the overall look from top to bottom. I'm glad I added the sparkles to the J and the Y on the joy sign. It just adds a little touch of glitter because I have a little glitter, just a little, on each section. So that's it. And I think those two little DIYs look fantastic up there. They look vintagey and country, um, similar to all the decorations that I like to collect. And, um, yeah, a little bit outdoorsy, I guess is the word. So, and I like that style. So, this little Santa here, I got, this one here, I got at the same time as that snowman one. They're the same size. And these are metal. Um, these are metal on the bottom, and then they've got fabric on them. The body of the Santa and the snowman are like a styrofoam. And then all these little... Um, pieces are like ceramic and or clay or whatever they are and um, and even the trim of his little jacket here is fabric I just think they're so adorable and the snowman scarf is real fabric they are the cutest ornaments I think that I have found in a long long time so very rustic very very rustic so that's it that's my little display area not much you can see it as soon as you walk into my kitchen and that's why I have it here and it's basically why I decorate I'm thinking that my cookie jar needs a bow on top but that might be it and I'll do some decor on the wall up above on the shelf above but that's not done yet so um, that's it. So thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you think there's anybody that you know that needs a little bit of inspiration and ideas for decorating a three-tiered tray and uh, doing a few little DIYs on their own. So bye-bye for now and everybody have a fantastic day and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You're going to want to see what I got to do next. Bye-bye.